Guys, we are back at the laundromat, and uh, as you can see right here is the broom and dustpan that I left here. And I do have a lot of the customers that use it. They help clean and keep their stuff done. Um, but there's a lot of little stuff that I actually was asked about a couple of weeks ago that has to do with the laundromat, and a lot of it's cleaning. Um, just so you know, we have the bathroom here. I have to clean it. I usually clean it at least once a week. Um, and I have the girls, when they come and help me, clean it every single time that I can. Um, otherwise, all the front glasses of the dryers get wiped down, uh, glass cleaner, everything like that. All the machines get wiped down top and bottom. The uh, floor gets swept. Um, we refill the soap vending machine. Currently, uh, the soda machine still is not working. I'm actually getting into uh, a couple of people here and watching some more uh, laundromat videos. And I'm learning a lot about how to take care of it. I'm going to see if I can get a vending company to see if they can come in and take care of it for me. Uh, the other thing right here, this is all just plastic jugs. We have garbages that are full that must get taken out and then you can kind of see on the floor here just junk all over that's got to get cleaned um this kind of stuff all the dirt and crud that builds up on the washing machines clean them out then the other thing is we check inside sometimes you find money but they all get cleaned, wiped out, um, even inside of here. Just kind of make sure that there is not a bunch of debris, hair, junk like that, that would, you know, hinder somebody wanting to use the machine. Um, I also am looking at a company to try and get rid of some of these machines. Uh, I know that personally, there is quite a few older people who come in here and they absolutely love these top load machines um not only do i not love them but i actually would like to get rid of them they're extremely inefficient and they use an awful lot of water and because i have a tank that gets pumped it definitely definitely is not a good thing to have old machines that use a ton of water and are not very efficient. Um, I'm really, really focusing on trying to get this to make some money this year. And I'd like to get some newer machines such as this, large capacity, um, and start kind of phasing out some of these older machines. Um, that's, that's really my goal for this 2023 year is to turn this place into something that's going to be making some money. Um, and I mean profitable, not just, hey, the bills are paid and I got 10 bucks in my pocket. Also with this other side, I'm going to be, well, if I can get the right key here, I'm going to be trying to lease this side of the building out. Again, I know you guys have been in here, but there is a small gift shop, which used to be here. I'd really like to get something going in here, whether I do it myself or whether I lease it out. This will have something in here before the summer starts. Um, that's my goal. If I can't do it, then like I said, I'm going to lease that side of the building out and let somebody else put it in there but that will all happen before this summer. Uh, as soon as it gets busy, I'm going to have that running, at least get some sort of lease payment or rent out of there. Uh, this is the old change machine. Like I said, it's kind of an antique vintage little one. Apparently it does still work. I'm not really sure, but that's probably going to be coming out this year. I also would like to, um, get another change machine uh, trying to fill this one as you can see right now it is completely empty and it needs to get filled up so i'd really like to get another change machine that way i have two going 
I think that's going to save me a lot of headache and hassle. Uh, also, it's going to just make it easier to wear if one machine is out, they can still use the other one and then everything can get refilled and, and taken care of that way. Um, otherwise, I'm going to try and figure out some new seating and I'd really, really like to upgrade just some of the things that are going on, even the folding table. Um, if I still continue to use it, I'm going to redo it and kind of make it a little bit different, but I really would like to upgrade some things, move some things around. As for right now, dryers, they all seem to be working pretty decent. And I was talking with one of the gentlemen on Facebook, the King of Laundromats. If you guys don't know him, check him out. He uh, even told me he's not really trying to sell me on a lot of things, but been watching his videos, just trying to see what he's been doing. And everybody's kind of unanimously told me that the biggest thing is is to upgrade the washing machines um they're older i knew they were older but in order for me to start making some halfway decent money out of here i need to upgrade the machines i'm going to get some more uh seating and get some more stuff done that way i want to make this place as efficient as possible and then like i said i will see if i can get a vending company to come in put a vending machine in here, do something um, to make it a little bit easier to make some money, lease out that other side of the room and kind of keep going. So those are my plans. Um, I also am going to be raising some of the prices here pretty quick. Um, I'm hoping to even be able to do that with Alex. We're gonna come back here and get it a little bit figured out uh, with the raises of the price. That means there's gonna be more quarters used, which is another reason why I need another change machine. So all of it kind of comes down to when I can get it done. Um, I know it's not a ton of very hard and complicated things, but it, it's things that take time and it's things that um, just, don't come in one moment and then happen. So keep giving me some ideas, guys. Keep letting me know what I need to do um, or at least what you think I should do. These are my oldest dryers. Those are my newer dryers. I'm looking into getting some new machines, seeing what I can do to finance and take care of that. And with that being said, some of these older machines, I think I'm going to try and sell, um, make some extra money, but it's time to clean this place up, get everything upgraded, updated, and that way it's not as big of a deal when prices start to go up. So let's see what happens and uh, let's take care of things, all right? We'll see you later. So what I'll tell you guys for right now, uh, I have not collected all week. It is still a halfway decent day. As you saw, I just grabbed the dryers um, earlier. If you look here, it says it is a negative weight of 1.4, 1.5. That is the weight of the bucket. So that's the bucket. And now that we have it on there, 26.9 pounds. Now we'll do some math here in a little bit, but that's what I just pulled out of the dryers. I'll put that in a gallon bucket. Hopefully it'll fit. And then I'm going to collect the washers and see what that's kind of going to do for this week. Washers, including the big washer are in Ugh. a little bit more this time we're gonna be at 44.9 pounds so not bad buckets pretty full do some math now I also am going to collect all the change out of the uh, soap and um, 
bag dispenser over there and see what I have in there too. So I'll get you guys a, a total here in just a little bit. Guys, quick numbers. This is uh, what I got out of the uh, vending machines. I uh, just did the, the math on it and actually counted it. It's $27. This has moved up from my wash. It's at 45 pounds. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, 45 times uh, 80, which is 80 pound or 80 quarters per pound. Uh, I did my math here on a piece of paper. I, I'm cheating today. Uh, $900. So $900 for washing machines for the dryers. Um, there was 26.9 times 80 and. Divided out by four, five hundred and thirty-eight dollars altogether, and do a little math. Uh, Fourteen hundred sixty-five dollars. Now that right now is about two weeks um, here, and I will just let you know I did just get my bill for the water removal just through the company that comes and picks up the water, not through the city who uh, they actually have to dispose of the water as well. It's $1,200 since uh, October. So I will have to do a little bit more math, figure that out, uh, get it monthly and kind of go from there. But it is, like I said, costing me a whole lot of money to get rid of water. That is the bad part. Um, so I really would like to get some more efficient machines, take care of that stuff. And uh, I'm also going to get some lights, get those all out, get those taken care of because pretty quick here all oh, this is outside just so you guys know it's winter it happens um it is going to be open 24 hours a day seven days a week and i want lights all the way down this whole stretch and that way it's lit up at night i got some lights on the ends uh i'm gonna light it up i'm going to figure out what i can do to have lights on here in the um, at night, but then when motion happens, there's going to be more lights that kick on. So just has to get done somehow. Um, I'm even thinking about just adding a few more light ballasts in here and just making it even brighter. They're all LED bulbs, so they're fairly efficient. Uh, it's usually not the electricity that kills me for bills every month. It is the water. Um, so that's the biggest thing that I have to deal with. But I'm going to make it happen, guys. Um, I, I got a little bit more excitement through here. I've actually had quite a few people ask me if I would like to sell them this laundromat. And I, I don't want to. At least not right now. I'd really like to see its full potential and uh, hopefully get this thing operating a little bit smoother and a little bit uh, more profitable. So that's what we're going to do. That's the plans. I'm going to keep making it happen. I'm going to empty out all of the dryer lints and stuff like that. Uh, sweep, mop, do all that stuff and get out of here. But keep following along and keep seeing what I'm doing, okay?